can I get it? <laughs> hey, Pittsburgh. Good morning. Happy Sunday. What's good in your hood? I'm Kiki Brown. Pretty Kitty on your radio for Whammo 1073. Uh, April 27th. April 27th is a day you need to have marked on your calendar for so many reasons. Number one, it's the day after my birthday. That's one reason. Number two, it's a big celebration to honor a legendary Pittsburgh native and playwright, um, award-winning uh, writer and author. And I, I mean, Mr. August Wilson is a huge name, especially in the city of Pittsburgh. We take pride when we say Mr. August Wilson's name. And we do that by celebrating uh, his legacy and his art and his childhood home. And we do it with a block party. If you have not heard about the August Wilson house, block party, birthday block party, then you have been missing out. Food trucks, uh, vendors, uh, dance, games, face painting, music, performers, Everything. and a lip sync battle. And a lip sync battle. <laughs> With me, we have Miss Denise Turner, Esquire, and Executive Director of the August Wilson House. We also have Dr. Evan Dyer, who is President of the August Wilson House Board of Directors. Of course, I got the heavy hitters on here with me today. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. Yeah, hey, Kiki, how you doing? Happy to be here. Yeah. Next week, <laughs> it's going down. It's going down. We're not going to talk about my part. So let's talk about, we'll, we'll leave my part Why, for last. Kiki? Why, Kiki? No, we'll, we'll leave that for last. How many years has the block party been going on? We talked about it off mic, but mm -hmm. tell the audience how many yeah, years it's have been we been celebrating? It's been about seven or eight years. It's been about seven or eight years. It's mm -hmm. really grown. It was very small. It was just an idea that the board had and wanted to do something to um, celebrate the community. The building was nowhere near under construction. Um, there were probably maybe 10 vendors maybe at that time. And it was really small and we actually grew when Dollar Bank became our presenting sponsor in 2019. And so mm -hmm. all the fabulousness that you see um, as a result of that. And when um, Fantasy Zellers from Bounce Limited Entertainment um, oh, she took came over. Our just... event, isn't Fantasy awesome? Yes, yeah, she but is. But when Fantasy stepped to the table and began to do our event planning, it just skyrocketed. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Dr. Dyer, what you got? Yeah, so I say the same thing. It's a it's a great day, great energy, right? Uh, celebrating Mr. Wilson and the community that he grew up in. We want to let people know that the spirit of his sort of um, generosity about community and all the cultural appreciation he had for his community, you see it at our block party. The yeah. vendors come out with their arts and crafts, you know, the families come out with their children, and we just have a great, great day. It's a really a wonderful day. Right. So I, I know I mentioned um, you know, performers and food trucks and vendors and things like that, but what can we expect at this year's uh, birthday block party? So the thing about this year, which um, ties into last year, we grew the children's area so we had um, we did a phone party probably in 2019. I want to say is the first time we did the phone party. The mm -hmm. children had a great time, courtesy of Councilman uh, Daniel Lavelle's office. Mm -hmm. And so you know we knew that we had to do that again. And unfortunately, April just doesn't cooperate with the weather. You know we've <laughs> had it storm, we've had it freezing. We're in between. I'm in my car with my hands on the the uh, heat. Ooh, Oh, it's so cold. So right. we just don't ever know. But last year, the phone um, was canceled. But um, we're having a, I believe that the phone is coming back this year. We're having a bubble house. So kids can jump in. There's bubbles. Um, the SWAT truck is back. We haven't had the SWAT truck in years. And oh, that's I cool. keep joking. Like, I hope Hondo jumps out. Like, I want to go in there and start pressing buttons um, and see, like speeding down the street. So we have this SWAT truck. And then Last year, we had Ozanam basketball come, which is so great, you know, mm -hmm. for the children, for some of the older children, mm -hmm. because some of the things I've named, like face painting, like you've named Kiki, that's for younger kids, but right. they have something for older kids. And the important thing is we decided to move the children's zone and um, move it down to where the um, August Wilson Park is in partnership with the Pittsburgh Conservancy. Um, who oh, is a okay. partner of ours. And so we wanted to encourage people to actually go down to the park. The park is beautiful. Um, and so the children can play there, the adults, there's something for the adults. There's beautiful etchings. 
um, different um, inspirational sayings and things like that. So, um, and, and of course the, the um, face painting and things mm-hmm. like that. So, I mean, it's so tied into last year, it's grown more. So we're really, really proud um, about that because Mr. Wilson is all about family and legacy Mm -hmm. and um, to have the families know that they can bring their children to this free event and have such a beautiful time. It's just a beautiful day of fellowship. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's a beautiful day in August Wilson's neighborhood. Neighborhood, It absolutely is. Dr. Dyer, so does this mean that the the block is going to be stretched because it was... What? No, it was Bedford Avenue. Is it still? Is it going to be extended? Like, where where are we going to start, and where are we going to where are we going to finish? Yeah, so you know, we're definitely growing. We're going to have, like Denise said, we're going to be expanding a little bit further towards the August Wilson Park with some of the children's activities. I think we're taking over a little bit more Robert Street, and we'll start sooner on Bedford because we just have more vendors this year that we have mm-hmm. to get into the space. Oh, cool. But, but I think in addition to the community coming and just having a great time, the community helps to build the block party, right? We got we have great volunteers from Duquesne University who's producing some of our children's activities, you know. The, you know, of course, our wonderful neighbors help us because they give up their parking spaces for the day, you know, mm-hmm. to help us bring other families into the hill. And so just it's a great, great, wonderful experience. And the whole community, the whole of the neighborhood helps this to take place. It's always so upbeat. I love the energy. Everyone is just having a great time. Uh, The food is amazing. You know, supporting the local food trucks and even the local businesses uh, in and around the city of Pittsburgh. And just I'm a Hill District native, so I'm from the Hill. Um, I love I love seeing my Hill District this way and this light because, you know, with with the media, it's not always portrayed that way. And this is also, this is an an amazing event, a successful event every year and it's successful. This is why it's expanding. So that's awesome. Uh, So you did say that you're going to add the children's activities, the the bubble room and the foam could possibly be returning. Any other new additions um, for the adults? Anything, anything else? Like what can we see on stage? Anything you can share with us? So we're um, we're giving out um, a new award. Like every year, we give out um, an award to, to amazing people. Of course, we're not going to tell you who, but um, to you know people who do amazing things in the community and in arts and culture. Mm-hmm. But we are expanding um, that award, so there is a new award to look forward to that we're okay. giving out. Okay. Um, and then we were going to have a mac and cheese contest, but we found out that there's someone another. Um, organization, you know, doing awesome things mm-hmm. here in the Hill, um, is doing the mac and cheese. So we're not going to be able to do the mac and cheese okay. thing, but, um, so, you know, of course we're multidisciplinary, our art center. And so you'll see spoken word, you'll see rappers, you'll see dancers, children, dancers, adult dancers. Um, you will see, um, a comedian. That's something new. I don't, okay. we, you, you, we haven't had a comedian to my knowledge um, before. And like I was saying before we had gotten on that there's so many awesome things that happen, some of which I miss mm-hmm. um, because I'm running around, you know, and then we had two stages before and I'm running between both of them. So I'm mm-hmm. hoping to be able to take in um, a little bit more than we saw um, before and then the volunteers, we're so grateful to the volunteers. We have um, Duquesne University has been a significant partner. Dr. Dr. Eric Eric Garrett's class mm-hmm. has been very committed to August Wilson House. They come every single block party. And we have, um, I just had a, a really nice Zoom meeting with um, the, I think it's that they may call, I know Pitt is the Black, and, Black Action Society, but I mm-hmm. believe that's the same for community college. Okay. So some of those students w- will come. And so we're really um, just over the moon excited about the fact that it's grown. And then the last thing I would say, Kiki, is that we started at 10 vendors. We have about 150 vendors. I see that on the website. Oh my goodness, there. that's a lot. Yes. Yeah. And, and, in, and in kind of concluding that is, we have always looked at August Wilson House as being a like a, a conduit for like neighborhood re- revitalization. Mm-hmm. Um, in our construction project here in our beautiful building, we had we were seeking 20 percent WMBE participation for minority and women. We had gotten our um, contractor 
general contractor, uh, Martini and Company, um, mm -hmm. had gotten us to 40%. We believe very much in community reinvestment. And so every year on the last Saturday of every April, people have come to realize that they can sell and rely upon selling their wares and generating revenue um, for the community. And I would be remiss if I didn't add this, Morton Stanfield from Dollar, Dollar Bank. Bank. Mm -hmm. um, he has been great. It started with Carol Nealon initially, mm -hmm. and then she passed the torch to um, Morton. And Morton has been with us for ongoing. He's awesome. The years. folks over at Dollar Bank are, for, are yes, really, really dope. So we're yeah. very grateful to that partnership and that sponsorship. I love that. One thing that she did not mention is one of the events that she misses because she's so busy. Uh, is the Kiki, lip you're sync. telling on yourself. Is the lip sync battle. You're telling on yourself, Kiki. This I is, mean, you know, will... I, I was waiting for you to do that. Yeah, I wanted to wait till the end. Uh, so this and, and and fantasy tortures me tortures me every year because she waits and waits and waits to start. Like it's just like, all right, the lip sync battle is starting, the lip sync battle is starting. Now the event, the black that, party starts at 11. The hype man. Oh, she's awesome. She knows what she's doing. So the event starts at 11 a.m. So now you have the full day to take on all the performers and the activities and the things. But then you got to, like, I don't know what time we're taking the stage. And I believe I'm going up against Tamira uh, Bridget Alexander, who is Bernard Alexander's wife. Now, they're a power couple, period. So I don't know what the heck I'm expecting. This will be my fourth time taking the stage as the lip sync champion now, I don't want to win. I don't want to win. That's not something you hear. Wait, Kiki, but, I need Irv. I need Irv. Irv, okay, you ran the stage. So you've seen it. So I need to hear your, you know, say something. Because I, yeah. I, I, you know, I'm running around. I missed it. So Kiki, I need to be there. Irv, you need mm -hmm. to, you know, grave, do something so I can be up there. But Irv, you've seen it. Yeah, I've I've seen it. I've you know it's like uh it's like a main event. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean the, the crowd participates, the competition. And I think last year, Kiki, I mean Kiki, you had to run for your money. I thought I thought it might you know it could have went either way there. Yeah, but, uh, it was tough. But the crowd participates. You know yeah. they they shout, they applaud. You know they give it up for the performers on stage who are doing their lip sync battle. So it's an awesome competition. But I just. I think it shows, again, just the energy of the whole day. The lip sync battle gives people a way to get on stage and just show what they got. And so <laughs> well, it, it, let me just tell you, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I am practicing because my father raised me not, not to be a quitter. You still got to give it a good try. Um, but mm -hmm. and, and if I and if I don't win, which is fine. I am. That's fine. I'll give you the belt. But if I win, I'm retiring this belt. I'm, right. <laughs> I'm giving it to the August Wilson house. You guys can have it on display. And, put it and, up in the <laughs> yes, put it up in the window or something like that. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And I and the people wait like they hype you up. Like when you're walking, because Whammo will be there. And so when you're walking up and down Bedford Avenue, they're like, "Are you ready? Are you ready oh, to yeah. listen?" So now my yeah, nerves that's because you shot. establish your reputation. Yeah. No, yeah. No. Oh, I just dang it! I shouldn't be yeah. so good. <laughs> Listen, We're gonna now, have to you know, see. We're gonna the have daddy to... shouldn't have such an amazing daughter. I mean, you know, it's just <laughs> what it is. <laughs> oh, and he will be there. He was like, I missed it the last few years. I will be there, so no pressure at all, right? Uh, Listen, none at I'm all. gonna make it my business to you know. I don't care wherever they need me. I'm gonna make it my business, you know, um, to be there. Oh, and Kiki, if, if there's one other thing I could just say is that the we're grateful to our sponsors. We have people, you know, and organizations who sponsor us every year. And so um, if you look around the stage, like all around mm -hmm. the stage, all of our amazing sponsors are there. And I mm -hmm. just want to take the time to say thank you. I mean, there's so many, so mm -hmm. I won't, you know. Like, well, like can, when you do a, a when you do a, an award speech and you go back to your chair and you're like, mm, I forgot to say every so, time. Yeah, I do it every but, time. Yeah, just we just know that you know for people to be able to see all the amazing support that will be around the 
banners of the the tents. So if you want to learn more about the August Wilson birthday celebration, you go to birth August Wilson birthday celebration.com and it has the full description of the event. I believe the the timeline, uh the vendor opportunities, the past block party uh photos and audition sign up and no I think we did the audition already. And so yeah the audition a lot of done. different a lot of different events and, and particulars are on the website August Wilson birthday celebration dot com uh looking forward to it i gotta go rehearse so wait wait kiki okay look th this is one of those brain freeze moments listen i got off the stage from thanking everybody and now i'm in my chair and i just remember something okay so the august wilson monologue competition yes students work extremely hard we just had our regional um one um, monday night and yes. they, these students were amazing but the good thing so the monologue competition has been renamed to new voices okay because it's going to pick up different parts of the genre not just necessarily um spoken word all, mm -hmm. all of the time but mm -hmm. i just wanted to say that because you asked about something new and that the right. um we're hosting the national um competition here this year Congratulations. and so some of the students will be, they'll be in attendance and so we're really excited about that so that is something new i would have been totally remiss if i um if we didn't Forget, have uh, close out with me that is that. big i did see that on social media now, they're so not going to perform though they they won't perform because they have to pr preserve their voices right right but they will be in attendance and it'll be from all over the country different states will be i actually there. saw the documentary on netflix and it just blew my head away like i yeah. just I'm, I'm just, I can't wait. So I know you, we got to get ready to go. Yep. Uh, so thank you so much, Denise Turner, Esquire, and the executive director <laughs> for the August Wilson House, Dr. Irvin Dyer, who is president of the August Wilson House Board of Directors. Thank you so much, both of you, for telling us what's good in your hood. April 27th, which is also August Wilson's birthday, right? Yeah. Yes, That's we'll be right. celebrating his birthday at the block party on Bedford Avenue. August Wilson birthday celebration .com is the website. Guys, thank you so much for telling us what's good in your hood. We'll see you next Saturday. I'll see you, Kiki. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, see you thank Bl you for Bl having us. We appreciate you. Yeah.